in a significant boost for the artisans, entrepreneurs and self-help groups, SHGs, of Ladakh, especially those in rural areas, Union Minister for Micro, Small and Medium Enterprises, Jitan Ram Manji, has inaugurated the Center for Rural Enterprise Acceleration through Technology, commonly known as CREATE, at Leche. The center, developed by the Kadi and Village Industries Commission, KVIC, in collaboration with the Department of Industries and Commerce of the Union Territory of Ladakh, aims to enhance rural enterprises by promoting technology-driven solutions. This new facility is expected to play a pivotal role in supporting small and traditional businesses, including those engaged in handloom, handicrafts, and the renowned Pashmina industry. The inauguration ceremony was attended by Minister of State for MSME, Shobha Karandlaje, and Lieutenant Governor of Ladakh, Brigadier Dr. B. D. Mishra, retired, KVIC Chairman Manoj Kumar, Secretary of the Ministry of MSME, SCL Das, as well as other prominent officials and entrepreneurs from Ladakh, were also present virtually. In his address, the Lieutenant Governor of Ladakh appreciated the Ministry of MSME for its ongoing cooperation in improving the livelihoods of small enterprises in the region. He highlighted the importance of traditional crafts, stating that Ladakh's Pashmina is now synonymous with the region itself. He added that the CREATE Center will play a crucial role in enhancing the skills and income of local artisans and entrepreneurs. In a significant event today, the Kargil campus of the University of Ladakh hosted Dr. Jagveer Singh, a distinguished scientist G and advisor at the Ministry of Earth Sciences, Government of India. Dr. Singh's visit underscores the growing collaboration between academic institutions and the scientific community, with a focus on advancements in earth science research which play a crucial role in both national security and environmental resilience. Dr. Singh received a warm and traditional welcome upon his arrival as the university's faculty and students honored him with a customary katak ceremony. Introducing Dr. Singh was Dr. Mohad Taki, who emphasized the significance of his visit to the region and its impact on scientific collaboration. During his keynote address, Dr. Singh highlighted India's leading role in meteorological and climate services particularly in the areas of disaster preparedness and weather forecasting. He shared a remarkable anecdote from a military operation in Dras, where precise weather forecasting proved vital to troop movements and strategy, demonstrating how earth science research can have real-world applications, especially in critical scenarios. In a significant development from Ladakh, the chairman and chief executive counselor of the Ladakh Autonomous Hill Development Council, Le Tashi Gyalson, led an important delegation today to address the ongoing army land issues in the region. Tashi Gyalson, along with senior district officials and army personnel, visited the army camps in Nimu and Nurla. Gyalson was accompanied by the Deputy Commissioner of Leh, Santosh Sukhadev, as well as councillors from Kalsi and Basgo constituencies and various administrative officers. Senior army officials, including Brigadier KMS Rana and Colonel Pushpender Singh, were also part of the discussions. The visit started at the Nurla Army Camp, where a detailed presentation was given by S.N. Mehdi, outlining the historical and current status of the Nurla military station. These deliberations are seen as crucial to resolving the ongoing army land issues in the region, with both the civilian administration and military leadership working together to find a solution. With this initiative, both sides are hopeful for a resolution that will address the concerns of all stakeholders and ensure a peaceful outcome. We'll bring you more updates as the situation develops. Chairman and Chief Executive Counselor, CEC, of the Ladakh Autonomous Hill Development Council, LAHDC, Kargil, Dr. Moor Jaffa Akun, has inaugurated a new Public Works Department guest house at Pipiting in Zanskar. The guest house, constructed under the state sector scheme, has been completed at an estimated cost of 3 crore rupees. The newly constructed guest house is expected to significantly improve accommodation facilities for visitors in the region. In addition to the inauguration, Dr. Akun laid the foundation stone for the upgradation and beautification of Kar Yokma Zangla in Zanskar. The project, with an estimated budget of 3.5 crore rupees, is part of the district capex plan and aims to boost tourism and enhance the area's appeal. Addressing the gathering, Dr. Akun congratulated the villagers and the Queen of Zangla, expressing his optimism about the project's potential to elevate tourism and bring new opportunities to the region. Dr. Akun also emphasized the Ladakh Hill Council's commitment to the welfare of the people 
highlighting that 3.5 crore rupees had been allocated to uplift the community and improve local infrastructure. He urged the concerned agencies to ensure that the project is completed on time with high standards of aesthetics. In Leh, a significant meeting focused on reviewing Aadhaar penetration and its role in promoting good governance was held on September 14th. The meeting, chaired by the Additional District Development Commissioner, ADDC of Leh, took place at the District Commissioner's office and brought together key officials to discuss strategies for improving Aadhaar coverage across all age groups. During the session, Tayef Mir, Assistant Manager of Uaidai Ladakh, presented a detailed overview of the district's Adha saturation status. Notably, Adha coverage for children aged 0 to 5 years stands at 36.56%, while the coverage for the 5 to 18 age group is significantly high, exceeding 122%. For adults above 18 years, the saturation rate is reported at 81.25%. Mayor also highlighted key challenges, including the need to activate non-functional Adha registration kits and assign operators to manage them. He also emphasized the importance of conducting more public awareness camps to educate residents about Aadhaar registration and the updating process. The ADDC stressed the importance of improving Aadhaar coverage across all demographics and urged the public to update their Aadhaar details, such as linking them with mobile numbers and bank accounts to facilitate direct benefit transfers for government schemes. Additionally, all departments were instructed to prioritize Aadhaar seeding to streamline services and enhance governance. In a first-of-its-kind event, the District of Leh hosted its inaugural Boti and Arabic Foundational Literacy and Numeracy Teaching Learning Material, FLN-TLM, Mela at Eco Park on September 13th. The event, aimed at enhancing teaching learning methods in schools, saw enthusiastic participation from 80 schools across the district. Teachers from various schools across Zones Leh Nyoma, Durbuk, Karu, Kalsi and Nubra showcase their creative and engaging educational materials designed to boost foundational literacy and numeracy in the Boti and Arabic languages. This interactive platform allowed educators to exchange ideas and refine their teaching strategies, making the event a hub for collaboration and learning. Honbal Deputy Chairman of LHDC, Leh, Sering Angchuk, graced the event as the chief guest. In his address, he lauded the efforts of the participating schools and commended the teachers for their dedication and creativity. He emphasized the importance of such initiatives in improving the quality of education in the region.